Hey there, it's Louie. I've been designing amigurumi now for over half my life, and here are four quick crochet tips from a professional that you might not know. One, using a French knot to add dots and bumps to your amigurumi projects. A French knot or bouillon knot is a quick, simple way to add dots and bumps to your amigurumi projects. I've used them for eyes, warts, or just to add little spots to a starfish. Here's my trick for making French knots on an amigurumi that's already sewn closed. With yarn threaded on a needle, enter from a stitch close by and exit from the stitch directly next to where you want to add the knot. Pull the yarn through so only a little bit is left over to double knot together at the end. Wrap the end of the yarn three times or more around the needle and insert the needle into the stitch adjacent to where you exited. Hold the knot with your fingers and pull the needle through so that the end will come out where the other tail end is for securing. You might get it perfectly taut on the first try, but usually I like to pull the knot out slightly and pull it a bit tighter from either end to make the knot more uniform. Then double knot the two tail ends together tightly, cut the yarn close and hide the end in with the back of your needle. Two, how to easily add keychains to your amigurumi. Here's the easiest way that I've found to add keychains to your amigurumi. First, get a strand of yarn that's the same color as where you'll be adding the keychain and thread it on a needle. I like using darning needles with a curved end so it's a little easier to get in and out of stitches. Next, insert from a stitch near where you want to add the keychain and exit from a stitch adjacent from the center of that point. For me, I'm sewing to the top of this jellyfish, so I'll just exit near to the center of the top. Then go through the ring at the end of the keychain and into the stitch adjacent to where you exited. Exit from the same stitch again and repeat the process as needed. This is especially important if you're using yarn that you're worried may break. This is our special amigurumi cotton yarn that's extremely durable, so I'm not really worried of it breaking. So instead of repeating once more, I'll finish up by exiting from where our original tail end is. Now just double knot these two ends together, cut close, and hide the end in. And that's how I add keychains to my amigurumi. Three, using yarn as stitch markers. Stop using plastic stitch markers for your amigurumi and start using yarn. It's so much easier, more clear, and you always have one with you. All you need to do is stick the end of a contrasting color into the magic loop before you pull it tightly. Then, at the end of each round, simply pull your stitch marker up and over between the last stitch and your first stitch of your next round. Continue on in your pattern, completely ignoring the stitch marker yarn. At the end of the round, repeat the process by pulling your stitch marker up and over the opposite side. This will create a line of stitches along your piece showing exactly where the ends of your rounds are throughout your entire piece. To remove your stitch markers, simply pull it out. Be careful not to pull too aggressively and mess up your stitches, but you can always just squish your amigurumi to fix any pulled in stitches. This is so much easier than plastic stitch markers and highly recommended for all of your amigurumi projects. Like and follow for more quick tips like this. Four, how to use yarn and pipe cleaners to add horns and extra detail to your amigurumi projects. Pipe cleaners are my favorite way to easily add horns and spikes to amigurumi. Just fold a pipe cleaner in half and cut with your least favorite scissors. Then fold this in half and put a needle into the end and begin twisting. Twist it up and stop whenever you're happy with the length for the horn. Leave at least half an inch untwisted though. Now poke the untwisted ends into two adjacent stitches on your amigurumi where you want a horn and twist on the inside to lock it in place. Now with yarn on a needle, come out through one of the stitches at the base and begin twisting up the horn. When you get to the tip, go into the hole with your needle and cover it as much as possible with yarn. Try not to leave any fuzzies poking through unless you like that. Now, twist back down the horn. This is your chance to add any thickness or details that you might want. Enter back into your amigurumi from the opposite stitch from where you exited originally. Double knot the two ends together and cut close. Thanks for watching. I hope you found at least one of these tips helpful. You can check out links to any of the patterns and projects that you saw in this video down in the description below. Let me know any other random quick tips for amigurumi that you might have in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe for more patterns and tutorials like these five ways to customize your safety eyes. I've been Louie. Thanks again for watching and happy hooking.